Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at adding sounds to our chat room application. So I was playing around with the idea of creating an AIM clone the other day, if any of you are familiar with uh, AOL's old instant messenger. And one of the things that's sort of iconic about it is that sound effect that plays whenever you send or receive a message. These days, the only time you'll hear a sound effect with like Discord is when you uh, are the receiver of a message. Back in the AIM days, you would hear a sound effect even when you sent a message. Apparently, you needed feedback even though you could, you know, visually see the feedback when you, when you hit send. So today we're going to take a look at just playing a single sound effect whenever a message is sent or received. This is actually pretty easy to do, and it's pretty easy to change the functionality if you just want it to play uh, when a user receives a message. All you really have to do is add in a check to see if you're the, the user that sent it or not. There's only a couple steps we have to follow for this. So we need to come into our app assets and we need to create like an audio folder. So we'll just call this audios. And in the audios folder, we just need to, let me copy this over, uh, copy over the aim sound effect and the discord sound effect. And I'll have the both of these inside of the GitHub repo, so just check the video description if you want to use these actual sounds. Once that's done, we need to come into our views, our rooms, and our index folder. And in our index folder, we want to add a audio tag. So we'll just do that, I guess, up here, right next to the appearance channel. We'll do a audio tag. We'll call this, uh, we'll test it with the uh, aim one first. So we'll say aim.wav and we'll give this a ID of, uh, let's just call this audio tag, why not? So this is all we really need right here. This is just putting the actual audio on the page and then we just need a way to play it whenever a user sends or receives a message. And as you'll recall, we have a couple different listeners here. If I just go ahead and start the server, I'll go in here, start it, refresh. Uh, it's telling us this hasn't been pre-compiled. So let's go ahead and let's do that real quick. To add it to the list, we need to just come into our config and our manifest.js. Of course, there's a couple different ways you can do this. In this case, we're just gonna add it, uh, add the audio's assets to our link tree in the manifest folder. And this will just add in all the files underneath audios into the manifest. So the way you can test this is if we stop the server, restart the server, come over here, go to localhost port 3000 slash aim.wav. You'll see this doesn't result in a route. What we can do is we can go to slash assets slash aim.wav and that'll take us to a uh, download page for this web file. So that means that one's working. I have one here already for the Discord sound. So you can hear it going off there. And once that's done, we can just come in here and refresh. And now that's working just fine. So now that we have that, what we wanna do is actually play it whenever the message is sent or received. And as you'll recall, whenever we send or receive a message currently, like if we just say test case in the general chat, that is actually, sending a uh, thing off to the messages controller. The messages controller then creates the message. It does the turbo stream render for the message error, of course, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't send the message off to the JavaScript here. It only sends it to the JavaScript if the message successfully saves. So if you come into the message save, if we come down to the models and the message.rb, whenever we do our save, we do the broadcast append later to the room. And of course, at this point, it still isn't added to the actual chat room. But when you come down to the JavaScript folder right here, and you go into the controllers, we have our, what is it? The uh, we have the scroll controller, there it is. And in the scroll controller, whenever we send or receive a message, 
we have this uh, messages event listener for the DOM node inserted that calls this dot reset scroll. And what we can do here is we can either uh, extract this out into its own controller, or we can just add in a hook to the reset scroll. In this case, I'm just going to add it to the reset scroll, but you could of course create your own controller and just bind it that way. But what you need to do in the reset scroll or in your own custom controller is come down to wherever you're doing it. Uh, you might want to maybe create a const somewhere else. I'm going to do it in the reset scroll, which isn't exactly the cleanest but uh, it sort of gets the point across of what we're trying to do here. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is grab the audio tag, which is gonna be equal to document.getElementById, and this is gonna be the audio-tag. Once you have the audio tag, you just need to call audio tag.play. And if we do this, we come over here and we refresh the page, we can then call test. And you can hear there that the test just played. So every time I'm sending a message, I'm now hearing it. But how do we test it when you receive the message? So this is actually interesting because when I was sitting here trying to test this and make sure this worked, uh, I didn't actually have a reliable way of doing that inside of the same browser because if you mute one tab, it mutes them all. So what I ended up doing is I had to open up a completely separate browser. So I opened up Chrome and I went over to localhost port 3000 Click login, john at doe.com with a password of password. Start chatting. Uh, let's go into the general chat room. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute the Brave browser and then I'll send a message from here into the general chat room, which the other account here will receive. So I'll say test. So you can see test appeared here in the other chat room. This one's still muted. So we know it's not coming from this. So it is uh, applying to every browser that receives the message. So if I mute this browser, I can say case, we won't hear anything. I'll unmute this one and then we can do one, two, three. And now we're hearing it again. So there we can sort of confirm that each one is hearing it independently, which of course makes sense because we're just appending. It's not like we're doing some super complicated logic here. Uh, but this right here, these two lines are basically the only JavaScript you need uh, if you have a controller set up to uh, listen for changes. Which of course, it's just done by grabbing the parent container, adding a DOM node inserted listener in this case, because we have our listener uh, whenever a new message is created. And then whenever that DOM node inserted is called, you then just grab the audio tag and play it, or you just play the already grabbed audio tag. The nice thing about this, of course, is if we change like chat rooms, uh, we don't have to worry about like updating which chat room we're in because we're just grabbing it based on the current listener that we already have set up. But that's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully this uh, is helpful. It's a small thing, but these small things add up to bigger things. So hopefully you're still getting some value out of these smaller videos that just cover these niche little uh, use cases. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.